Hello and welcome to our video on polymers of chocolate from the CMAC Future Manufacturing Research Hub based at the University of Strathclyde. In this video we tell you all about polymers of chocolate and explain why polymers are very important for medicines. First, we need to learn what is a polymorph. We get polymorphs if the molecules of a material can be arranged in different ways. Let's think about this through Lego bricks. Let's think of a material made of two different molecules. Here, we have a yellow brick and a blue brick to represent two types of molecules. We can arrange the bricks in different ways. Here are two ways of arranging the bricks in regular patterns. We can call the two different arrangements polymers. We can find polymers in everyday materials. For example, ice exists as polymers. The water molecules are arranged differently in each one. Diamond and graphite are also types of polymers. Both consist only in carbon atoms. They are made of exactly the same stuff. In diamond, the carbon is arranged in a pattern that is very strong, which is why diamond is the hardest material. Graphite, which is actually what the lead in your pencil is, is carbon, arranged in layers. When you write or draw with your pencil, the layers come off. You couldn't do that with a diamond. About chocolate. It comes from the beans inside the seed pods of cocoa trees. These beans contain roughly 50% of cocoa butter, which is chocolate's main ingredient. Cocoa butter is made up of three fats, roughly equal amounts. The ratio of these fats strongly affects chocolate's melting range. Let's have a look. Chocolate has six polymorphs. Six polymorphs have different properties. The one we want is Firm 5, which has a shiny, smooth texture and good snap. It also melts in the mouth of all the properties you'd want from your bar of chocolate. Chocolatiers try to maximise the amount of Firm 5 fat crystals in the mixture using a process called tempering. This involves heating and cooling the mixture to melt the different crystal types until mainly Form 5 remains. You've probably seen this on one of the TV shows, The Great British Bake Off. We see here two pictures of chocolate. I know which one looks more yummy. Think about polymorphs in medicine. How does chocolate relate to the research we do at CMAC? Some materials can exist as polymorphs. Not just chocolate. For medicine, it is important that we know which polymer of a drug we have, as different polymers of the same drug can have very different properties. It might be the case that one of polymorph it will make us feel better, and the wrong polymorph can make us feel very sick. We don't want that, so it is important that we can develop ways to produce the polymorph that we want. In CMAC, one of the questions we try to answer with our research is how to produce medicines in the right polymorph. Black polymorphs of drugs are visibly differently and can be identified by how they look. The crystals shown here are different polymorphs of the same drug and appear with different shapes and colours. However, most polymorphs are very different, difficult to tell apart and require special experiments to find this out. Do we know which polymorph our crystal is? Using an X-ray instrument called a diffractometer, Using a machine like this, we shine x-rays at our crystals and we use a detector, like a camera, to measure where the x-rays come out of the crystal. In this picture, we are using the tiny little crystals 
but we can do the same thing for powder samples too. We find x-rays at the crystals. We take lots of photos to see where the diffracted x-rays come out of the crystals and these are the bright spots in the photos. If we collect enough photos, we can use these positions of the spots and how bright they are to figure out the crystal structure and hopefully we have the polymorph that we want. Let's take a look at some of the x-rays instruments we have in CMIP, Future Manufacturing Research Hub, based at the University of Strathclyde. In these instruments in our state-of-the-art research laboratories, we perform research investigating how to make different crystals, polymorphs, for tomorrow's medicines. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it.